everyone, my name is Caridad and I'm a RBT in the state of Florida. In today's video, I'm actually going to be talking about grad school, why I chose the program I did, some key points that I looked into when choosing a program, and some tips you guys can get when choosing your own program. My first grad school video on my channel, and I hope you guys enjoy. So the school I'm going to be attending for my graduate program is Florida Institute of Technology. I'm actually going to be an online student beginning next month. There were three main factors as to why I chose this program. The first one being the flexibility, the second one being the price, and the third, the pass rate for the board exam. This program is super flexible in the sense that we have Zoom meetings once a week and you actually get to choose from a bunch of different times to fit your schedule. Since it is completely online, you have the flexibility to actually be able to work and manage out your own schedule, which was something that interested me a lot. You can be a full-time student while still being able to work and manage my, my job and my supervision hours. There's a lot of programs that actually you won't be able to work because it is a full-time commitment Monday through Friday, either from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. while you're doing the hours and the courses and all that. So you wouldn't be able to work with that and that wasn't something I wanted to do. The cost. The cost was really important to me because in my opinion, in this field, you just need to be able to sit for the exam, pass your board, and it depends on you to be the BCBA you want to be. There's so many different programs, but they all have to follow the same guidelines in order to be verified by the board. So whether you're paying an $8,000 master program or a $30,000 master program, essentially it is all the same coursework. You're just paying more for either a name or maybe in person if that's what you prefer. But I personally decided to go the online route and having my supervision be outside of the school and that was the best choice for me. I really considered the pass rates of the board. So usually online, you can find most schools scores and the percentage of people that pass their board graduating from their program of whatever year you want to look into. So for example, there could be a school that has a 100% pass rate, but only 20 students took the test. There could be other schools that have 80 some pass rate, but they have 300, 400 students taking the test. So you really need to consider what is more important to you. For me, the application process was actually pretty easy. I just had to fill out their online application, submit my resume and reference letters, and just wait for them to accept me. I didn't have to take a GRE, which I really liked. And um, the resume really helped me out since I am an RBT already. I have experience in the field. So I think that's, that's a good thing to note. So if you're an RBT and trying to get into these schools, that might already really help you out because you already have experience in the field. My biggest tip for anyone interested in a graduate program or anything of the sort is to really first look at your budget. What are you willing to pay off once you graduate? Most likely you're going to have to take out a loan. Scholarships can help, but usually most students take out loans. So look at what you're willing to pay for the degree you're getting. It's a school that you think is worth it, then do it. But if there's a more affordable option and you think that route would be perfectly fine for you, then go that route. The second thing I think is very important is what fits your schedule. Are you willing to not work for whatever the amount of years you need for that master's program to get a more intensive in-person program? Or are you like me that wants to have the flexibility to work while you're in school and still get full-time student. There's different factors you need to take into consideration. And this is where I would either email the, the dean of the program or the counselors or any resource you can get a hand of so they can really explain to you how the program is and is expected of you when you're in this program. The last thing I think it's very important for you guys to consider is the actual application process of the program. So do you want to take the GRE? It, does it require an essay, reference letters, resume, all of these things you need to see you need to do in order to be able to qualify to get into the program. With GPA, they require all of these things. I hope you all enjoyed this video and got some tips on what you should consider when you start looking at grad school programs. If you guys have any recommendations for videos you guys would like me to do in the future, please comment down below. 
also subscribe to my channel for future videos and give me a thumbs up that would really help me out i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time bye